This year we had seven Bobcats in rehab, which is the most we've had at one time. As our reputation for successful releases grows, more Bobcats seem to end up here, so we need to be ready for that growing demand. The area that would be most suitable on our property would allow a footprint of about 200 feet by 800 feet. It would give us about one third of thick woods and two thirds of grassy runs. What we envision are eight long, narrow runs, 20 by 230 feet each, that are capable of opening up into four that are 20 by 470 feet when there are four or fewer bobcats. It would be a chain link box with one inch mesh and at least 11 and a half gauge to meet state standards and to keep the live prey from escaping. We say box because it will have to be completely closed in. Wild bobcats do dig, so a floor is necessary. Whether a bobcat comes to us injured or orphaned, they usually go through these stages. The first one is inside intensive care, which is done on our on-site cat hospitals, but it would be really nice to have the wild bobcats completely away from the sanctuary activities and their own recovery facilities adjoining the outdoor runs. Then, outside into a small and low cage so that they have time to heal without the abilities to climb and fall. And lastly, a 1,000 to 2,500 square foot enclosure for plenty of space to practice their hunting, climbing, and hiding skills. You can learn more about our rehab program and donate to this project by visiting our website. You can also support our online campaign by posting a photo or video of you trying to touch your tongue to your nose and posting it to social media with the hashtag YesWeCat. You can also learn more about this campaign by visiting Viewly.com and look for hashtag YesWeCat. Thank you for your support. Got it. <laughs>